Right, welcome to another exciting 100 series build video and I think this is going to be one of the best and why is that? Well, most of you that know me will know how many issues I've had with electrical systems Now, what do I mean by electrical systems? I mean the system to run the fridge, extra lights, charge up cameras, etc, etc Now, uh, with the 100 series, I'm hoping to learn from my mistakes and I've gone pretty big, not crazy, but I'm hoping that I've gone for the best. And it's a company that's relatively new in South Africa, uh, although it's been around for a long time overseas and it's been thoroughly tested and research has brought me to them. It's a company called Red Arc and 4x4 Mega World bring in the Red Arc products into South Africa now. So I've gone with them and I am obviously going with a lithium setup as well. It's just a new way to go. And I have quite a few issues from the normal solenoid to DC to DC chargers to very expensive DC to DC chargers from deep cycle to AGM and lithium. I've never been happy with any of them. They've all given issues. Uh, it might be fitment, but yeah, I'm not sure. I wasn't going to run the risk on this vehicle. So I just wanted it to be done. I'm building this vehicle for the next 20 years with hopefully no issues. So gone with the Red Arc chargers and done a lot of research on lithium batteries and I've gone with a company called Enatech. They seem to be the best. So yeah, that's enough talking. The only thing that's left to do is to head to 4x4 Mega World and get it fitted. So welcome to another exciting episode. Included in the setup is a Red Arc Manager 30 charger, 240 watt solar panel and two 105 amp hour Enatec lithium batteries. The Manager 30 allows you to charge from mains, solar and DC. It also comes with an LED display that gives you all the information you would need. They do have the amazing Red Vision Red Arc system, which allows a lot more in-depth monitoring and Bluetooth connectivity. But for now, this is perfect. Two hundred and ten amp hours of lithium power would be a game changer, and these batteries weigh just twelve kilograms each. We created a wooden deck system with a few extra plug points for convenience. Very simple but effective. I also added a one thousand five hundred watt inverter to run a small coffee machine and charge camera batteries and laptops. Right, so I'm super chuffed with the install. Everything looks good. And instead of just doing an install video, I wanted to give some legitimate feedback. So what did I do? I went to Namibia for a month, the ultimate testing ground, and these are the results. Namibia is harsh and rugged. And this 7,000 kilometer journey is the first trip I've ever been on where I've had zero electrical issues. The Red Arc Manager 30 kept the batteries topped up in even the roughest terrain with the Enatec soaking up the constant 30 amp charge. Yeah. 
Using the coffee machine and running a laptop that is constantly processing uses a lot of power. These Enertech batteries have been tested and developed in harsh conditions and they certainly do cope with the hammering as well as the 48 degrees Celsius heat. Every person's needs requires different setups and I've used one 105 amp hour lithium battery in the past and found it just wasn't enough. I constantly had to connect to solar or drive the entire day to keep it topped up, especially in the heat. So two Enertechs are the right way to go for me. The outlay of cost on lithium batteries in the beginning is high, but considering you might get 10 years out of the battery, in the long run it works out less expensive. The solar panel is just next level, delivering 18 amps of charge and it's certainly built to last. It's a pleasure waking up in the morning and checking the monitor and seeing that the batteries are on 80 to 100%, even after running the fridge, coffee machine and laptop. The best thing about the batteries is the Bluetooth app. When I'm in the front of the vehicle or in my rooftop tent, I can monitor anything I want from the app without checking the red arc display in the back of the vehicle. One of the huge advantages of lithium is the fact that you can discharge the batteries below 50% without damaging them. However, I never discharge the batteries below 15% as a safety buffer. This is something I would certainly recommend and also helps extend the life of the battery. The Red Arc product just seems on another level compared to what I've used before. And it's great having a mains, solar and DC charger all in one unit. This electrical setup really is a game changer for me. It's still reasonably priced considering how amazing and how reliable the performance is. I finally have no electrical worries, which means better times out in the African bush. In the next episode, I head to Planet World South Africa for another amazing bit of kit that I fit to the 100 series. Thank you for watching. Until the next adventure, cheers. Purely select the device and Apple CarPlay opens up.